each time I'm coming, I'm discovering so many things. Okay. And uh, I know that there's lots of uh, hidden sites, hidden uh, beauty in Saudi Arabia. Hello and welcome to The Me Man Show. As usual, we are coming to you from our studios in Riyadh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And today we have a photographer and traveler, Anna Aiko. Thank you so much for having, uh, for making the time to come to our studios today. Thank you very much, Hussam. All right. And uh, you, you have a very interesting story to tell and also have a very interesting background. So mm. you're, you're, you're half French, half Japanese, and you are a photographer. Uh, as well as a traveler, of course. So tell us a little bit about your current trip to Saudi. What brings you to the kingdom? So I came uh, for the foundation day. Mm -hmm. It was in Ha'il and uh, we're living uh, the Dab Zubaida. It's a trail, most important trail in the Arabian Peninsula. It's a trail from the Primgris, uh, from Kufa to Mecca. And there is some uh, ancient sites with pools, mosques, and we did... Uh, of what of the part of this trail okay and uh so tell us a little bit about your experience you know like personally you know experiencing this trail what, what was the interesting aspect of it doing it in the modern day age in era of the kingdom of saudi arabia now traveling in the kingdom it's uh, always amazing because i'm discovering uh, each part of uh, the regions and the uh, hail uh, I, I had tears in my eyes when I discovered the landscape, a uh, huge landscape, infinite, and uh, lots of mountains, and the colors, and it was springtime, so for the first time, this was the third time in Ha'il, but there was lots of natures, lots of flowers, uh, violet, uh, yellow, and it was really, really amazing. And uh, there was lots of uh, people coming uh, from... Uh, Another regions, and uh, we share this moment all together, and uh, it was really nice. Mm. All right, and and uh, which which other regions were there? Did they come from? Uh, come from uh, uh, Riyadh, Kasim, uh, the Mam, lots of part of Saudi Arabia. All right, mm. and uh, what do you notice uh, about, I guess, the Saudi subcultures? How are they different, and how are they alike? Uh, first of all, for the cuisine. Yeah. It's uh, each region have uh, they have uh, their specialties, and about uh, the sites also, which I really want to rediscover okay. because uh, Saudi Arabia is very very big, and uh, I travel a lot in Saudi from two thousand nineteen, and uh, I know that uh, there is lots of gems in Saudi Arabia. Okay, and what was your favorite cuisine that you've tried so far? Um, I like uh, the um, the rice with the milk. It's coming from uh, Taif, I think. All right, yeah. Salik. Yeah. Yes. And uh, with the banana. Okay. I like them. <laughs> All right. I mean... And those I like to try uh, every kind of dates. Ah, okay. Mm. Well, Saudi has many, many, yeah. many kinds of dates. Mm. Is, is there a particular one that you found nice? I or? like all of them. Yeah. It's different and uh, it's nice to discover. Okay. Yeah. And okay, so you've you've uh, done a photography portfolio with, with your iPhone uh, on Camelback. Yes. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Very straightforward. <laughs> Why? So, uh, I was working as an art director in the fashion luxury industry in Paris for like 20 years. And uh, I wanted to travel always. Uh, it was always my heart was saying to travel. So I started to travel since 2015. Okay. And uh, I started to travel the Silk Road, taking pictures by iPhone. And then I win uh, lots of uh, iPhone photography awards, international photography awards uh, since 2018. Fair. And in 2018, I started to think I would like to travel on Camelback, but okay. how? And in 2019, a friend addressed me in this way. 
I'm looking for a man who wants to cross the empty quota on Camelback. Okay. In Saudi Arabia. All right. Even I didn't know how to ride on the camel, I said it's going to be me as a woman. And 72 hours later, I was flying to Saudi Arabia in the vast desert of empty quarter, mm -hmm. crossing the first time the desert on Camelback. All right. And what intrigued you about doing it? Like, what was the thing that, you know, made it click and say, I want to do this? My heart. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to travel like these ancestors to to have this deep connection with the nature and uh, with the camel. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and follow the ancient path. Okay. And, you know, so aside from, you know, uh, having someone contact you, how did you start? Initially, take us step by step on how you started. You know, you went to the empty quarter, and then what what happened next? I I... It was naturally, mm -hmm. and uh, I, um, uh, how to say, how the camel was, uh, try to, to, to know about the camels, okay. and we became one. All right. Mm -hmm. What, what did you, what did you notice, what did you notice about, uh, a camel as, you know, as, 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 uh, basically an animal that you, you've been, you know, spent quite some time with? What characteristics make a camel unique? They're like a poetry of life. Okay. Yeah. Each step I'm making with the camel, it's like a, it's like poetry. Okay. And they are guiding us uh, to the path, and uh, they know what all movements, and I think they feel also. Uh, our energy yeah and uh yeah it's amazing uh amazing experience to to travel on camel back okay have you ever seen that uh video that was on social media where a camel saw his old owner and he like yes. wrapped uh, hugged him you know with with his neck yeah yes so one thing that uh camels are also known for is their memory yeah so camels they they say they say elephants never forget well camels yeah never forget so they are, they are very, 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 um, super sweet. Yeah. Mm, I really love them. Okay. And what were, you know, some of the unique places that you've been to, you know, along this journey that you took? So after Rakaib, um, I went to Dubai mm -hmm. and, uh, I travel from uh, the Saudi border to Dubai with Hamdan bin Mohammed Heritage Center. Okay. And uh, after I went to Sokotra with Khalifa bin Zaid Foundation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had experience also with uh, the Global Camera Race for Expats. Okay. In 2020 and 21, and I was uh, running up. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh, each time it's kind of experience in another landscape with uh, different people and uh, making uh, new stories. Okay. And, uh, you know, since you've, since you've been coming in and out of the country, you know, mm -hmm. since virtually before, you know, mm -hmm. tourism has started mm -hmm. and now, you know, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia has a tourism city mm -hmm. and, you know, the visa is, is, is pretty easy mm -hmm. for, you know, anyone who wants to come and visit Saudi Arabia. What, uh, as a traveler, what makes Saudi a unique destination, do you think? The heart of people, how people are welcoming you, the hospitalities. Uh, each time I'm coming, I'm discovering so many things. Okay. And uh, I know that there's lots of uh, hidden sites, hidden uh, beauty in Saudi Arabia. And I really wish to discover more and more. And uh, yeah, this is my dream. Okay. What yeah. do you want to discover more? Like, which which place do you like? I really want to go and see this place in Saudi. The heritage. Okay. The ancient sites. Uh, history. It's like a puzzle. Okay. When you discover something, it's related to something else, and it's amazing because it, I don't know how to say, but it's making lots of root. You know. Uh, and this is the um, this is the magic of the the history. Yeah. Mm. 
and uh, so like w when you're talking about historical sites, are you speak uh, talking about you know like for example Al Ula or you know like yes. have you been to Al Ula? Not yet, okay. but I wish. Okay, and uh, it's it's one that's going to be on your bucket list of, of places course. to see. Of us course, out. of course. <laughs> All right. And uh, you know since you've you've been to different parts of Saudi, and mm. you know you've seen that the kingdom virtually has different subcultures. Yeah, and uh, everything. Uh, were you surprised to see this uh, difference in, you know, like each region and each location? It's amazing, no? Because in a one country, you can have so many diversity. Mm -hmm. The people, uh, the, f the how people are dressed, okay. I mean, the fashion, the food, the landscape. Uh, and also, there's so many sites. Also, uh, the ancient um, houses, okay, and also the handicraft. Um, yeah, there is a there is a lot of things to discover. Okay, mm. have you been to the south of yeah. Saudi Arabia? You've seen mountainous green regions yes. and and everything. So, yes. uh, what stood out from that part of your trip? I guess. Mm -hmm. What stood out from that part of your your trip? Just be, you know, like uh, you know, because the South itself mm. has a unique mm. background mm. that is kind of its own. <laughs> you know, aside mm -hmm. from the landscape, mm -hmm. even uh, you know the way they dress, yeah. the tradition, yeah. it's, it's yeah. very different. Yeah. Like, what, what caught your eyes from it? Because it's a very colorful part of the kingdom. No, it's. Uh, I was really amazed because it was my first time to see uh, uh, this part. And to show the the flowers, uh, yeah, the flower reefs on on on. Yeah, on the so beautiful. Yeah, and uh, I didn't know that also there was a part so green in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. When I visited in two thousand nineteen. Okay. Uh, and uh, it could be cold also because yeah. I was thinking uh, it should be hot, but uh, in Saudi Arabia there's so many diversity of the climate also yes yeah too cold too hot to the desert to the mountains uh to uh the jungle of dates uh too many diversity so too many things to discover and to share and i wish that we can share this uh beauty of saudi arabia okay to the world and you know as as a photographer where do you believe the untapped potential to showcase the visual beauty of Saudi? I think it's the uh, instant moment mm -hmm. mm, to capture the moment. Okay. Mm. Like, can you give us an example? You know, if, if you had to take our audience through that thought process, like, you know, just if you can give us a slight example. I think it's the mix of everything. The moment, uh, the energy, uh, the people, uh, uh, the beauty, the uh, uh, the bonheur, I don't know how to say. Okay. The joy. The joy. And you catch it. It just rubs off on you, right? Yeah, you catch the You moment. can take it in. Yeah, and uh, I think it's, uh, it's explained to the picture. Mm. All right. And, you know, you, you've... Uh, I mean, ha have an advantage uh, from other people who have, you know, not visited the kingdom. Mm. In fact, uh, that your family used to live in Saudi. Yes. So uh, tell us a little bit about uh, that period of of, uh, of of your life, your family's life, and how it uh, reflected on you as a person. Yeah. So uh, my parents live in uh, in seventies in Saudi Arabia before I born. Okay. Uh, my father was general manager of UBAF, and uh, they they saw many pictures after I born in Japan, and my father was still working from Japan and uh, traveling in the Arab countries, and was still going uh, always to Saudi Arabia. My home was almost uh, from the Arab countries, from Saudi Arabia, and even when I was going to his office, always writing in Arabic in Japan. And my mother was talking about Saudi and it was like a fairy tale. Okay. Mm. 
and uh, watching their pictures. Even uh, there were some pictures about the camels, the desert. It became very familiar for me, for me since my childhood. You know? right. And you know, for, from you know, for your from the stories your mother tells you, mm. where do you feel that that duration of their life uh, captured their heart? Mm. Where do you feel that that you know, like, uh, how do you feel that that duration has captured their heart, you know, and their life? Like, how did it uh, basically impact who they are as people? I don't know how to say, but it was for me something very close to me, you know? Yeah. And something, uh, something really amazing and uh, wonderful. Like, um, like a special uh, hidden place. Yeah. And uh, thanks to Vision 2030 and, you know, the thriving tourism sector yeah. and culture sector and everything, you're, you know, there's a platform to, mm. to show this uh, to the world. Mm. So when you, when you started, you know, especially since you've been coming in and out of Saudi mm. for all these years, when you started seeing this, this rapid development, mm. what was going through your mind? What do you mean? Like what, what was going through your mind as someone who uh, was traveling in and out of Saudi Arabia to mm. see the country expand mm. on its tourism, uh, basically offerings mm. and have visas and attractions and destinations that are marketed to attract uh, visitors from all over the world mm. and cultural heritage uh, offerings to show visitors and everything. So when you saw this, you know, basically expanding, mm. what were your thoughts? I was uh, really happy that uh, uh, Saudi is opening and uh, uh, growing uh, with this, uh, how to say, to fit uh, with the high technology to the future okay. and um, keeping the heritage. Uh, this is like kind of similarity with Japan also, like um, processing to the future with the latest technology and uh, conserving the heritage. Uh, this is amazing. And I saw a project uh, which is um, going in Saudi Arabia. And uh, I really like because how the ar uh, architecture is, uh, uh, is it's like uh, how to integrate uh, with the nature uh, and keeping the heritage. Uh, this is really amazing. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, so... Uh... Being half Japanese, mm. where do you believe there is some similarities between the Saudi and Japanese? Oh, it's super. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, is the welcoming. Yeah? Yeah. Because in Japan, when you uh, somebody is coming, it's like first, uh, okay, we are more tea. Yeah. But uh, to welcome with the tea, with the coffee, and with some dates, mm -hmm. we are more like maybe Japanese uh, sweets. Yeah. Uh, this is the first thing. It's really, it's really, really similar, and about the respect with the people also, and uh, the respect with the family uh, to be really, you know, uh, uh, together, close. Yeah. Yeah. This is a really similarity with Japan. Okay. Yeah. You know, and and before we brought you into our studios. Yeah. Do you follow Arab news? Of course. <laughs> no, what? Uh, I was really happy uh, because uh, you have uh, Arab News Japan and France. Yeah. And it's my country. So. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, you get the best of both. Yes. Ways. <laughs> All right. So like, okay. And Saudi. <laughs> and Saudi. Yes, exactly. So when, when you saw these projects being launched, mm. you know, you have Arab News Japan, Arab News, mm. uh, the French supplement, mm. all, you know, reflecting, I guess, what uh, news is coming out of this region, mm. you know, like... What, what did you think? You know, like this is uh, a newspaper basically that's creating content now for you know the Japanese reader and the French mm -hmm. reader. How important do you feel that you know these these kind of initiatives uh, bridge or you know narrow down gaps and bring cultures together? Uh, 
No, it's nice because uh, it's to share the, it's to create a link to the world with Japan and France and Saudi Arabia. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy. Okay. And do you follow the show? Of course. <laughs> right. And uh, what are your thoughts about uh, basically Arab news taking an initiative to uh, create more digital content? It's nice. Yeah, okay. just nice. It's super cool. It's <laughs> super cool. Okay, I'll take that as a compliment. It's okay, that you think this show is super cool. I mean, there's other, uh, you know, programming that the newspaper creates, mm -hmm. which comes from different parts of mm -hmm. the world as well, which reflects our our network. But I'll take that this is super cool in the highest <laughs> of regards. All right, and before we wrap up our yeah. our interview. <laughs> You must have a personal message. What is your personal message to the audience? Personal message uh, is that um, to uh, listen to your heart and uh, become your own dream because everything is possible. And uh, I wish to uh, transmit uh, the beauty of Saudi Arabia yeah. to the world. Okay. Because there is so many beautiful and wonderful, amazing gems in Saudi Arabia. All right. Uh, we'd like to also applaud you in your efforts, and uh, we hope that you continue showcasing the kingdom's beauty to the world. Yes. And uh, I'd like to say merci and domo arigato for coming to our I got those things. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's all the time we have for this episode tune in to the next Maymat show bye